you have one? I wanted to write something to him. Okay, he has questions. No, he wants to share. He wants to share. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to share some information. Um, I've been here for the first time. Uh, seems like I've been here before. It's like a deja vu type of experience. Uh, never been here before. You know, just like Kwame Kuru said, even though I'm not born in Africa, Africa is born in me. I didn't never, I never knew what that meant till I got here. When I got here, I felt like I was at home. Simple as that, simple. Real simple. All the answers to, uh, all the questions to my answers had already been answered once I touched foot on the continent. My family told me that I was a damn fool for coming to Africa. They tell me don't lose my life. I'm telling them, watch out for the police. <laughs> they telling me, you ain't gonna make it in Africa, man. I say, who told you that? They don't have no idea. Cause it's already planted in their head. Uh, it's in their subconscious. Who told him that? Who told your grandmother that? Who told your great grandmother that? It passed down through the generation just like white Jesus. Praise the Lord. Just leave it in his hand. He'll take care of everything. No, it ain't happening like that. That's a lie. And we live a lie every day and we don't even give a damn and we don't care we don't know. We don't even know that we don't know. So I'm here, okay? What's your name? Azibo. Azibo. Let's get my brother Azibo. A couple of questions. Yes, Mr. You got a question or you have a comment? Okay, no, we're going to deal with them. We just want to know. Anyone that spoke today, we have a question for them. You can, uh, the builders, or anyone you have a question for them, raise your hand. If not, we can close out. I got a question. Okay, go ahead. What about, uh, um, back over some okay. clear. What about, uh, sustainability in terms of, uh, uh, we all know, we all know about the lights getting cut off. But what about building communities that are sustainable and the lights don't go out. How about that? <laughs> yeah, one of the builders. What about sustainable, black sustainable uh, community? They don't have to be real big community. It just has to be self-sustainable. On food, on electricity, on water, no lights out. That's How what, about that? That's what we're doing. Duh. That, that, that's the direction we're in. Yeah. He's doing that. Brother Bumani is doing that. So uh, you can you can press his card. Brother, Brother Bumani has. Now he knows me. I gave him information. Okay, he has his card. <laughs> so <laughs> no other question. We can pull you. Yes, my sister. I had a question for the builders. I think it was. Uh, from Terry. Not actually builders yet. I had a question for William and Richard at OBT. The shipping. Yeah, sure. um, my question had to do with the difference in the cost. We learned um, from one of our mothers yesterday that um, some people buy their shipping containers, some people, I guess, lease the shipping container. What is the difference in cost and what is the recommendation from um, OBT? Okay. So if I understand your question, in, in bringing your container and you want to check whether you can buy a container, is it so, better to buy it or is it better to rent a space? You rent it. I'm going to answer your question because I'm somebody who bought a container. It's all, in my own opinion, it's always better to own it because owning it has multiple uh, 
progress right. to it. That's right. Yeah. So, right. for example, I'll be real brief. One of the ways when I look at my container, I once I'm blessed to get land, I can either, I can either open a, I can live in it or I can open a store in it or I can do both. That's right. That's right. When you rent it, you rent it. So, you don't want to rent. Right. Um, but when you get finished with your question, I have a question. Uh, for you. We'll go ahead. <laughs> That pretty much was my question, but then what is the cost to actually purchase a container? Can you per Do you purchase it used? Do you purchase it yes, you can, new? Yes, you can purchase it used. I'll, I'll tell you the price. I spent $2,000 in the home container. What was the size? 2000 It's 40 foot. Okay. I bought it in the state. And I bought it in the state. That's the cost in shipping, right? Cost all the costs, cost, shipping, delivery, all that good stuff. Two thousand. Only the containers. 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 I had a question. I wanted to know that's kind of to get um, attorney like tax break. Say, I was wondering if God gets a tax break when you're moving on. So when you first come over, today. Yeah, what did you say? Yeah, they give they give tax breaks. Uh, the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. They have a list of all the tax um, incentives uh, for those that come. To, to Ghana. So you first move, you don't have to. Well, actually, they, they look at um, the area that you're investing in. If you're just coming to move here, uh, you are you are certainly returning home. Uh, but when it comes to the laws of Ghana, you would have to be specific as to what area. You know, like agriculture is one of the areas that they give uh, uh, a tax holiday, ten years. So, but if you're moving home. One of the benefits that you can possibly get uh, is it, like you can apply for dual citizenship. Uh, but the tax holiday, you have to check with the Gun Investment Promotion Center. The question, her question is, uh, if I move here, right, do I get tax break? Not at investing. No, that that was the question. That, that was the question was would they give an allowance to move? Uh, that thing. Allowance from the. Um, yes. Right. Um, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. Yeah, I can't answer that. But what, what you have to do is just call the number of the Gun Investment Promotion Center, and they will give you the clarity on that. Okay. Or you can call the lawyer that's in the book book with you. Um, you don't have the book, we'll get it for you so that they can clarify that for you. Because I'm hearing, you know, you, that's a new question that I've heard. I don't I've really heard that one before. But you're welcome. And I'm certain this uh, can be investigated. And I thank you very much. One last question. Go ahead. Uh, greetings, how's everybody doing? Thank you. I have a question on the uh, 10 number process. Uh, is that a fee involved? How does that go about obtaining that? Come again? The 10 number, I'm taking the 10 number. Is that like yes, a fee? Yes, the problem is the uh, I did mine, and it was free, but it's broken. Basically, give it to you. Free, free. It's free. Yeah. Right. It's free. It's free. All right. Very good. So we thank everyone for coming, and we can network after we do the close up. Um, at this time, we'd like to ask Dr. Osari to do the closing remarks for us. Okay, I'd like everybody to pay attention. Breathe in deeply and tell yourself, thank you. Most of the time we don't celebrate ourselves. We celebrate others, we don't celebrate ourselves. Tonight, celebrate yourself. Feel happy you are part of a good decision. A lot of people are part of bad decisions. You are part of a good decision. You are part of a good group. So celebrate yourself. Be happy. We have finally
been able to learn in Ghana on the African continent for some people the first time. For some people, it's about the third time. For some others, it is a time to really think African. Because we have been quite washed to think that we cannot get anything good except we think in other people's terms. Now let's think of our own terms. And for those of you coming for education and other things, please, your curriculum, your syllabus should be functional and it should be Afrocentric. My company is called Pama Health. Pama meaning positive Afro-mental attitude. Not just a positive attitude, positive Afro-mental attitude. We need to be a little bit biased towards ourselves, right? That's right. We thank everybody here for coming around. And we finally thank the Almighty for seeing us through this. And surely will guide us home safely and happily. Until we disperse finally and some of you move to where you are going to. We are going to talk to ourselves, but don't let the conversation be an end. Let it just be a beginning. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Almighty God.